Hi guys, I know you can't really see me right now, but I would prefer it that way just because I'm feeling really insecure lately, but I wanted to give you an update. Sorry if I burp, I just finished dinner and I'm like chugging water. Excuse me, because I'm trying to drink a gallon of water a day and I will explain why I'm doing that in a minute. But I wanted to let you know that I am on day three now of sobriety. Yes, yet again, it's been a struggle. It's embarrassing because I was like sober pre-2016 and like I broke this down for you guys. Um, and then I wasn't off and on for like a long time. But I've never really like been like, oh, I'm going sober and then like, failed like two days later and then been like no I'm really going sober and then like four days later I failed again and I did that a lot in the last month and I think you guys probably like saw that and noticed like when I was sober and when I wasn't obviously when I'm sober I have a way better posting schedule so that's like a pretty good indicator of whether or not I'm doing okay is if I'm keeping up on my posts daily but yeah so i'm three days sober and i'm also starting today doing the 75 hard if you don't know what that is it's like a challenge like a personal challenge where you do two 45 minute exercises a day you drink a gallon of water you're supposed to read 10 pages of a book but i replaced that with doing my um social media work because i just really don't have time in the day for anything else i mean i do what i don't so that and then what is the other thing oh you have to follow a diet of like whatever is good for you if you google it you can see it's like your whatever diet you're okay with and then no alcohol and I'm trying to do no sugar as well. And I decided, excuse me, like I said, I'm burping. I decided I was going to do all of this stuff because Halloween's coming up. And my birthday is the night before Halloween. And the whole Halloween season just means so much to me. And I just don't want to be sad the whole time because I'm not feeling how I look. Which, again, that's why I'm not even shooting my face right now. Because I'm just, like, really insecure in this moment with how I'm looking. And I'm ready to change it. So, I did drink... I drank half a gallon of water. And it's literally 9.30 at night. So, I have to chug a half a gallon of water more before bed. And I have to... What else? I'm trying to look at my list from here the water and then I can't remember what else but I did walk for the 75 hard you're supposed to walk like two or you're supposed to do two 45 minute exercises a day one of them has to be outside but I just combined my two into one and did an hour and a half walk outside I'm not gonna lie I did an hour and 20 minutes but I was back at my house and I really had to pee and I wasn't able to do the other 10 minutes. So I'm gonna add in 10 more minutes tomorrow. But I got that done and yeah, I'm feeling really good about myself. I'm feeling like pretty euphoric, honestly. Like it's really weird, but once you've like been fucked up for a long enough time and you're like just not really there all the time it becomes really easy to like be numb to everything I feel like being fucked up all the time made me feel like I wasn't part of anything like I wasn't I don't know like I didn't connect with people as much and I like didn't connect with myself as much or even like my cat as much and I just I feel like every day just had this like looming like sadness to it and I was always really like aggravated in the earlier part of the day because I wasn't able to drink yet and I was always waiting for like 5 to 7 p.m to come around so I could start just hammering drinks and it's like I would get so like aggravated 
and be like, why am I so upset? And then I realized it's because I was just waiting for the day to pass so I could drink away the night. <clears throat> and it's depressing, you know, as someone who already has depression, I've literally been depressed my entire life. I can't remember a time where I wasn't struggling through severe depression since I was a little girl. Um, you can't be adding on to that purposefully. Like that is the dumbest shit I've ever done. I'm so annoyed with myself for wasting so much time drinking and honestly like throwing away my good looks with drinking. Like I, when I really work at it, can be a pretty attractive human being and it makes me sad that I don't feel that way right now. So I'm trying to love my body through this period though. Like I just ate a massive dinner. I just had like basically two small chicken breasts and a bunch of Brussels sprouts. <clears throat> so I'm proud of myself. The diet that I'm giving myself isn't really a diet. It's just like try and get as many proteins and veggies in as you possibly can. So that's what I'm doing. And I cook this at home for myself tonight. Everything other than the chicken breast, which shout out to my mom. You guys, comment down below if you want to see videos of my mom, like, cooking and stuff. Because I keep trying to get her to start a YouTube channel and do her, like, cooking. At least just, like, shooting from above, like, her little oven. So she's just, like, filming her hands and her voice. Because, like me, she's not always feeling the most secure. So let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. And also, I'm, like... <laughs> loading right now sorry i'm thinking about what kind of camera she would need to attach above her oven so that she can film so maybe her first video will be her filming her kitchen setup so you guys can help her figure out what camera she needs to put up but anyways shout out mom thank you for the awesome chicken breast she's the best cook honestly and she's so sweet um <clears throat> She cooked me a, I think I showed you guys when I got back from that trip a couple months ago when I went to go see my mom, but she cooked me a whole cooler of frozen foods that I could bring back and just thaw out to eat. And I'm still living on some of those things, mainly because when I was drinking, I was also eating a buttload of fast food, which my rule is going to be not like a strict, strict rule. Because I really do have to eat when I need to eat just because my head hurts so bad when I don't eat right when my head starts to hurt and tell me like, hey, body wants food. Um, so my rule is going to be a light, no fast food rule with the exception of the occasional bean burrito because I need it to not be sick. But yeah, so this is kind of just like a life and health update. Oh, also, you guys, this is big news, but kind of scary news, but also exciting news. I spoke to a psychiatrist yesterday, to my psychiatrist yesterday, and we've got some stuff figured out for me to try um, medication for, it's supposed to treat depression, pain, and anxiety, because, excuse me, I'm having a lot of all three of those and I'm just trying to like tackle it and get it under control. Um, I hate to bring up something super sad, but with the passing of Angus Cloud and the message that his family posted about, um, they hope that this will show people that they need to not try and take on, you know, unaliving thoughts on their own. It just really like hit me and it was really what pushed me to actually pick up the Zoom call with the psychiatrist because I don't want to live like this anymore and I don't want to do that to the people that love me. I mean, no hate to Angus, poor thing. Like he was such a sweetheart and so beloved and I adored him and I absolutely don't blame him for his addiction. Um, <clears throat> his loved ones are just missing him a lot right now and I would hate for that to be the case with my loved ones. So I'm trying to fix myself so that I don't end up, you know, having a bad night or relapsing to the point where I'm no longer here. So I'm just working really hard on getting my shit together. And hopefully you guys can see that. 
Um, and I'm gonna just be doing a lot of like, honestly drinking water <laughs> and like crafts and stuff. Uh, I think I'm gonna spoil a video I have coming up cause I know I'm gonna shoot it really, really soon, but not fully, I'm not gonna spoil it fully, but I had some stuff in storage. Okay, I'll spoil it a little bit. I had Barbies in storage and I'm gonna make a video including them very, very soon. So if you're into Barbies and you wanna see that and you wanna see me just be like totally excited about something because I, I'm really excited. Anyways, um, that'll be a good video. But yeah, this was pretty much just a life update. I just wanted to let you guys know about my three days in on sobriety, which I'm feeling really good about. I actually think this time I'm gonna stick to it. And then the 75 hard after starting today, I did it, I can do it, I'm capable, I'm gonna keep it up. And part of the rules of the 75 hard is no alcohol. So I don't think I'm gonna have a problem at all. When you guys see my fridge organizing video, you'll see why I don't think I'm gonna have a problem at all. And it's because mainly I have a ton of LaCroix and kombuchas to get me through this. But yeah, and I just wanted to say to anyone watching, if you are inspired by what I'm doing with the sobriety or with the 75 hard or both, cause they're kind of hand in hand. If you wanna join me, go ahead and join. You'll only be a couple days behind me. And in a month or two, I guess it's like over two months. It's 75 days of commitment, but hey, it'll change your life and you're gonna be watching me change mine so we could totally do it together. This isn't me trying to like bug you. Just if you were thinking about it, ask yourself why not start now? Or set a date where you feel comfortable in a week or two and mark your calendar and seriously, you know, mean it and decide to start then and you'll only be two weeks behind. It's really not that long. So I hope some of you will join me and maybe we can hold each other accountable, not in like a weird way, but just being like, hey, we're all on like this day or whatever. Um, and just check in with each other. I think that would be a fun thing to like do in the comments and that we could all kind of like glow up by Halloween together, which slay, Halloween is the best fucking holiday and it's so much more fun when you can wear something like sexy and you feel good about how you look. So join me. And then we can all celebrate my birthday too, just looking hot as fuck. But yeah, join me if you feel like it. And if you don't already follow me on TikTok, please follow me there. And if you, I don't know, aren't subscribed, subscribe, please. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.